Let's review the use of fiber force as a repair and reinforcement material for existing dentures. Fiber force is an excellent alternative to metal wires such as half round and braided wires and is easy to use, fast, and very strong. All of the fiber force stranded materials come in packages like this of two 15 centimeter pieces. There are four formats of material overall with fiber force a mesh, a 2 mm braid, a 1 mm braid, and a UD or unidirectional fiber. There's also a clear version of fiber force which comes in 1 and 2 mm braid, unidirectional fibers, and a braided ribbon. Regardless of the color of fiber force, all fiber force materials are pre impregnated in a light cured resin. The actual repair technique will vary depending on what type of resin or acrylic you decide to use, but there are four basic principles you want to respect in any case. Number one is you need to create a space for the fiber force. Number two is you want to insert your fiber force into a wetted base of material. Number three, you have to cure the fiber force at some point. And number four, you want the fiber force completely covered. These four principles need to be respected in all repair situations. So let's review three possible techniques. The first and most popular repair technique is using cold cure or repair acrylic. As previously mentioned, the first step in any repair is to create a space for the fiber force. This can be accomplished using any number of approaches and is shown here using a burr to create a channel in the denture. The actual size and shape of the space will depend on the type of repair, and the key is creating enough space to accommodate the amount of fiber force used. Once the space is created, the fiber force is removed from its packaging, and using any pair of sharp scissors, the appropriate length of material is cut. Fiber force is removed from the blue protective plastic covering and placed inside the space. You can use your fingers or a set of tweezers or other instrument if you choose. Once the fiber force is in place, it's light cured. The curing time will vary depending on the power of the unit being used. In most cases, 45 seconds to a minute is sufficient. Once the curing is completed, remove the fiber force from the space and place it aside on the bench. Any light curing unit can be used to cure fiber force. Light ovens, such as the one shown here, can also be used. Simply place the appliance in the unit for the recommended period of time, which will vary between 1 and 5 minutes. The next step is to place the repair acrylic at the base of the space. This ensures that the fiber force is fully surrounded in acrylic and that no voids are created in the repair. Now take the cured fiber force and place it back into the space. Then completely cover the material with repair acrylic. From this point, proceed as with any conventional repair by placing the appliance in the pressure pot. Once cured, simply trim and polish and you're done. Another repair technique combines the use of fiber force pink light cure resin and repair acrylic. Once the space has been created, fill the bottom of it by injecting fiber force pink light cure resin. Now cut the appropriate length of fiber force and place the material into the space.
Next, cure the resin and the material all at once using a handheld curing light or light oven. From here, fill the space and completely cover the fiber force with repair acrylic and then place the appliance in the pressure pot to complete the curing process. The third repair technique uses only the FiberForce Pink Light Cure Resin. Take the Light Cure Resin and fill the bottom of the space you created. Now, cut the FiberForce material and place it into the bottom of the space. Next, take the light cure resin and completely cover the fiber force. If during the trimming process some of the fibers become exposed, it's important to recover them with a thin layer of resin or acrylic. This will avoid the possible tissue irritation created by exposed fibers. Light cure for the appropriate period of time with a handheld curing light or light oven, then trim and polish as required. Thank you for watching this fiber force repair instructional video. If you have any questions, please call us at the numbers listed or visit our website to send us an email.